A common question a lot of people ask is using a generator or gen set with the SunSync. There's two ways you can connect a gen set. One via the um, AC input the, and the other with the grid and the other via the gen input. It's fine if you're using a single inverter and the gen input works really well. Um, it's particularly good for charging batteries, um, maybe in remote areas, because one of the things it does is it steps up the power into the battery. So in other words, if you're going to charge the battery at a higher current, it will step up the power bit by bit. The reason for that is sometimes if you put a sudden load on, especially for example, using eight kilowatt, uh, 8.8 kilowatt inverter, and you're suddenly gonna pump 160 amps into the battery and you've only got a 10 kilo, a kVA generator, suddenly put that on the generator, do, 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 it's gonna get a frequency. It's gonna drop down maybe to 35, 40 Hertz. And at that point, the inverter is gonna cut. So that is an issue. So what we actually compensate for that. So we slowly put the power on. One thing to be aware though, the generator will power both the load and charge the battery. So the generator is gonna be big enough to take both, even with a single inverter. So if you've got a load of eight a kilowatt, and you want to charge your batteries at eight kilowatt, then you need at least a 60 to 20 kVA generator, which is um, going to take both. Now, there is a problem with that, is because the limitation on the contactor set is only 12 kilo kVA. So that's the maximum you can really go is your 12 kVA. And you've got to consider your load and your battery charge settings. So don't have the battery charge settings too high, otherwise, you're going to give yourself a problem. Talking about those, sometimes if you're wiring multi inverters together, remember when the inverter charges the battery, it reverses, it goes backwards, it's a bi directional inverter. Um, so it's not like a normal inverter that uses MOSFETs and the charger circuit and stuff, it's the whole inverter reverses. Um, so if you're on a, a, a three phase system and you choose to charge on the grid on one of the inverters, you've got to remember the other inverters can't function correctly because one inverter is going to go in reverse and the other two inverters are going to be linked to the phase so it can't work. It is a problem. It's going to be out of sync. It is obvious. Um, so you, you can't take one, one, one inverter off the phase. Um, somebody suggested, which is a really good idea, if you're using, for example, four inverters and you've got three on a, on a three phase or a single phase, Use the fourth inverter as a charger. Just use as a charger, you can connect your MPPT, you can connect your solar, and use that one to charge your batteries, full power. Now that one can be used in, if you use normally through the solar, charge the batteries as normal. One thing though, when you come to start your generator up, you can put it through the gen port, which will then be nice to the generator, and it will step up and that can charge the batteries directly. Make sure you set your charging for voltages um, and make sure your voltages are set correctly because you can't communicate that back by a comms cable because otherwise it will give a problem. So that inverter is actually running as a standalone inverter and the other inverters will be wired in parallel. And by wiring that as a standalone inverter as a charger circuit, it will work very nicely. And that will work with the generator, charge the batteries, massive amount of charge. You've got an 8, 8, 8, 8, um, 8 kilowatt inverter. You're going to be charging the batteries at 160 amps from the gen set. And if you've got surplus power in the gen set, if it's a three phase gen set, then you can power it into the other inverters to take the load if you want to. If not, you can continue running the load from the solar and the batteries and the, 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 the generator just purely as a top up, giving you uh, sort of up to eight, nine kilowatts of, of charge straight into those batteries. So just think about it. You can't connect three, you can't connect multi-phase and a generator together because of the reversal of one of them, it won't work. It's impossible, it breaks the laws of physics. So that's something to bear in mind. So this is, a, this is an issue, um, but it's a very doable issue. And by using a single inverter as a charger, use its MPPTs, and use the inverter in backwards, which is designed to run it. It's a bi-directional inverter. So use it backwards, makes a nice system. So think about that. If you're doing a multi, and even if you're doing a three inverter system, use two of them for the load and use the third, if it's a single phase, and use the third one as a charger, if you've got a generator set. And you can connect all your MPPTs to all three of them, work it that way. It works very nicely. Um, so 
it's just something that may be worth worthwhile thinking about. Um, you can obviously control the generator from the other inverter as well if you've got um, the correct control gear, uh, the ATS, the correct shock control gear. We have got some reference circuits on our manual how to build an ATS, um, or you can just simply switch it on and switch it off manually if you want to. If the battery's a bit low, you can do that where you don't need automatic, but it will work automatically on an inverter. So it's quite a nice system. Thanks for listening.